In this video, we're going to focus on the FOIA method. Let's say if we wish to multiply a binomial, such as 3x plus 2, times another binomial, 2x minus 1. Well, how can we do it? We need to use something called FOIA, which stands for first, outer, inner, last. So let's multiply the first two terms, 3x times 2x. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. For those of you who are not sure by that, 3 times 2 is 6, x times x. x is really x to the first power. 1 plus 1 is 2, so you get x squared. Next, we can multiply 3x times negative 1. That's going to be negative 3x. And then we can multiply the 2 on the inside. 2 times 2x. That's positive 4x. And then finally, we can multiply the last, the 2 and the negative 1. That's going to be negative 2. Now, on your next step, we need to add like terms. Negative 3x and 4x are like terms. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. So therefore, the answer is going to be 6x squared plus 1x minus 2. And this is the solution. So that's how you can FOIL or multiply two binomials. Let's try another example. Go ahead and expand and simplify this expression, 4x plus 5 squared. Feel free to pause the video as you work out this example. So if you were to see a question like this on the test, what would you do? You need to know that 4x plus 5 squared is equivalent to 4x plus 5 times another 4x plus 5. Now let's go ahead and FOIL it. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Next, we have 4x times 5, which is positive 20x, and then 5 times 4x, which is another positive 20x, and finally the last two. 5 times 5, which is 25. So now, let's go ahead and add the two terms in the middle. 20x plus 20x is 40x. So the final answer is 16x squared plus 40x plus 25. And as you can see, it's not very difficult um, when multiplying two binomials together. Let's try this example. Let's multiply 2x minus 3 times x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now, in the last example, we see that multiplying a binomial by binomial will give us four terms before we combine like terms. And that makes sense. A binomial which has two terms, and if we take that and multiply by another binomial, 2 times 2 is 4, initially we get four terms. Now, in this particular example, we're multiplying a binomial, which has two terms, with a trinomial, which has three terms. Two times three is six. So initially, that is before we combine like terms, we should have a polynomial with six terms. So let's go ahead and multiply everything. So first, let's multiply 2x times x squared. This is going to be 2x cubed x to the first power times x squared, if you add 1 plus 2, you're going to get 3. Next, let's multiply 2x by 2x. This is going to be positive 4x squared. And then we have 2x times negative 3. That's going to be negative 6x. And then we have negative 3 times x squared. That's negative 3x squared. And then there's negative 3 times 2x, which is negative 6x. And then negative 3 times negative 3, that's equal to positive 9. Now, let's go ahead and combine like terms. There's nothing to combine the x squared with, I mean the x cubed. So we're just going to rewrite it as 2x cubed. We can combine these two. They both contain an x squared. 4 minus 3 is 1. 
So this is going to be positive 1 x squared. We can combine the negative 6x plus the other negative 6x together. So that's going to be negative 12x and then plus 9. So this is the answer. 2x cubed plus x squared minus 12x plus 9. Now what about multiplying, let's say, a trinomial? 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 by another trinomial, 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. What do you think is going to happen? Well, initially, we have three terms. 3 times 3 is 9. So we should get a total of 9 terms before we combine like terms. So let's go ahead and multiply everything. 3x squared times 2x squared is 6x to the fourth. Now what we're going to do in this example is we're going to line up everything. You'll see how it works. 3x squared times 4x, that's going to be positive 12x cubed. Next, we have 3x squared times 3, and that's uh, 9x squared. And then we have 2x times 2x squared. That's going to be 4x cubed. I'm going to put it right beneath the 12x cubed. So I'm going to line up all of the like terms. Next, we have 2x times 4x. So that's going to be positive 8x squared. And then after that, we have negative 5 times 3, which is, actually, before we do that, we have 2x times 3. That's 6x. Now, let's move on to negative 5. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x squared. And then after that, negative 5 times 4x, that's negative 20x. And negative 5 times 3, that's negative 15. So if you notice, we have a total of 9 terms. 3, 6, 9. Because we're multiplying a trinomial by a trinomial. But now let's combine like terms. So we could bring down the 6x to the 4th, since there's nothing to combine it with. Now for the next two, we can add 12 plus 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. So this is going to be 16x cubed. And now for the next three, let's combine them. 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 minus 10 is 7. So we have positive 7x squared. And then we have 6 and negative 20. 6 minus 20 is negative 14. So this is going to be negative 14x and then we could bring down negative 15. So this is the answer. That's what you can do if you need to multiply a trinomial by a trinomial. Now let's say if you were to see an expression that looks like this, 2x minus 3 raised to the third power. And you want to expand and simplify. How can you do it? There's two techniques that you can use. You can FOIL it three times, or you can use the binomial expansion. Let's FOIL it three times first, and then let's confirm that answer using the binomial theorem. So 2x minus 3 is 2x minus 3 times itself for a total of 3 times. So if you get a question like this, just multiply two of them at a time. So 2x times 2x, that's 4x squared. 2x times negative 3 negative 6x, negative 3 times 2x is also negative 6x, and negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then combine like terms. Negative 6x minus 6x is negative 12x. And now we can multiply this trinomial by the other uh, binomial, which will give us initially 6 terms before we combine like terms. 4x squared times 2x that's going to be a 6x cubed. And then 4x squared times negative 3. That's negative 12x squared. 
And then we have negative 12x times 2x. That's a negative 24x. And then negative 12x times negative 3, that's positive 36x. And then 9 times 2x, that's uh, 18x. And 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Now let's combine like terms. We can... I'm missing an x squared somewhere. Yeah, this one, negative 12x times 2x. That's negative 24x squared. Let's put the 2 there. So we can combine those two, and we can combine these two. So this is going to be 6. And I've made another mistake that I've just caught. 4 times 2 is not 6. Rather, that is equal to 8. So let's turn that into an 8. You know what? Let me check my work just in case I didn't miss anything else. So 4x squared times 2x, that's 8x cubed. And then 4x squared times negative 3, that's negative 12x squared, so we got that. Negative 12x times 2x, that's negative 24x squared, we have that. And then negative 12x times negative 3, that's positive 36. And then 9 times 2x, that's positive 18x. And 9 times negative 3, that's negative 27. So I believe everything is okay at this point. So the final answer is 8x cubed minus 36x squared plus 54x minus 27. Now let's confirm the answer using the binomial theorem. So first, let's make Pascal's triangle. We're going to start with a 1, and then two ones. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10. And by this point, you can see a pattern. 1 plus 5 is 6. 10 plus 5 is 15. 10 plus 10 is 20. And so forth. Okay, that should not be a 16, that's supposed to be a 15. The left side should be the same as the right side. Now, notice the exponent is 3. Therefore, the second number should be 3. We need to use this rule. The final answer will contain four terms. 1, 3, 3, 1. We're going to use those as coefficients for the first four terms. So the first term, we're going to use 1. For the second term, we're going to use 3. The third one, we're going to use 3, and the last one, 4. I mean, 1. Now, let me show you what to do at this point. So, the first term is going to be 1 times 2x to the third power, and then times negative 3 to the 0 power. The sum of these exponents must add to 3. Now, the next term is going to have this coefficient of 3 times 2x to the second power, this, this exponent here is going to uh, decrease by 1. And then the next exponent, the one associated with negative 3, that's going to increase by 1. So it's going to be negative 3 to the first power. As you can see, 2 plus 1 still adds to 3. Now the next term will have a coefficient of 3. And then it's going to be multiplied by 2x to the first power times negative 3 to the second power. And then the last one is going to have a coefficient of 1 times 2x to the 0 power times negative 3 to the third power. Now anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so negative 3 to the 0, that's 1. So we have 2x cubed. Now 2 to the third power, that's 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. And then x times x times x is x cubed. So that's the first term, 8x cubed. Next, we have 3 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, and then times negative 3. That's negative 12 times the 3 in front. That's going to be negative 36, and we can see that it's going to be x squared. Next, we have 3 times 2x, that's 6x. Negative 3 squared is 9, 
9 times 6x is 54x. Now for the last term, 2x to the 0 is 1, negative 3 to the third power, that's a negative 27. So this is the answer, which is the same as what we have in the last example. So that's it. Let's try another example. Go ahead and try this one. 3x minus 4, I mean, let's use 3x minus 2, raised to the fourth power. Let's keep the numbers small. So using what you know, use the binomial theorem and Pascal's triangle to expand this expression. So let's draw it. We need to get up to 4. We know that 1 plus 1 is 2, and then the next one is going to be 1, 3, 3, 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, and this is where we need to stop. So there's going to be five terms. Now the first one is going to have a 1 in front of it, and then it's going to be 3x to the fourth power times negative 2 to the zero power. And then the next one is going to have a 4 in front of it times 3x to the third power times negative 2 to the first power. And then after that, we're going to have a 6. And then it's going to be 3x to the second power times negative 2 to the second power. And then it's going to be 4 times 3x to the first power times negative 2 to the third power. And then for the last one, it's going to be 1 times 3x to the zero power times negative 2 to the fourth power. Now, negative 2 to the 0 power is 1, and 3 to the 4th is 81. So the first term is going to be 81x to the 4th power. Next, we have 3 to the 3rd, which is 27. 27 times 4, that's 108. And 108 times negative 2 is negative 216. So negative 216x cubed. Let me just confirm my math with the calculator because mistakes do happen and 216 is correct. Now for the next term, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 6 is 54. And then we have 54 times 4, which is also 216. But this time, it's going to be positive 216. And 216 x squared instead of x cubed. Next, we have 4 times 3 times negative 2 to the third power is negative 8. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times negative 8 is negative 96. And then we have an x attached to it. 3x to the 0 is 1. Negative 2 to the fourth power. If you multiply negative 2 4 times, you're going to get positive 16. So this is the answer. Now you know how to use the binomial theorem to expand multiple binomials.